The Tokyo Olympics are now just over two months away and calls to ditch the games in the face of the pandemic are getting louder by the day. So why isn't Japan talking about cancelling the games? The answer as it turns out, is not that simple. The situation is not looking great in Japan. A coronavirus state of emergency has been extended in the capital Tokyo and three other major prefectures as cases continue to rise. Yet there's been no word about cancelling the games, despite both health experts and public opinion being stacked against them. Current polls in Japan show nearly 70% of the population do not want the Olympics to go ahead, but the International Olympic Committee IOC, remains steadfast that the spectacle will take place. Japan has long insisted there was no question the Olympics, which should have taken place last summer, would be held and will be safe. Yet earlier this week, Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga for the first time appeared to bow to the pressure of public opinion, saying that the government would not put the Olympics first, but adding that ultimately, the decision would lie with the IOC. So who actually wields the power to cancel the games, and is a cancellation likely to happen?